All right, everybody needs a uh, pick me up every now and again, but one driver in the Duke City has taken that to a whole new level. Ryan Laughlin shares the story behind a very unique ride share driver in this heart of New Mexico. On any given Friday or Saturday night, if you order a lift, I don't need to ride right away. There's a chance it might be a bedazzled white Hyundai with eyelash decals and Goofy waving from the rear window. It's a party. Stephanie Lucero. A lot of people think, think of me as the, the grandma. Drives this unique experience. Most everybody, of course, the first thing is, I love the bling. Oh, it's so pretty. This is a pretty car, especially the women. So unique, some of her previous passengers even seek her out. One of my previous customers asked me if I could be in the area of Dirty Bourbon at two. It's all because of what happens after the doors close. They could see it and they just have a good time. It's surprise car karaoke. She says participation is pretty good, but... It depends on how intoxicated people are. And the guys are typically tougher sells than the ladies. There have been some that said no, but then I put their song on there and I hear them singing with it anyway, so then I hand them the mic and they just go along the rest of the way. Lucero from the North Valley is retired and she admits she's not musically gifted. I always knew I couldn't carry a tune, but it's fun. I this idea started four years and 3,000 passengers ago with seasonal tunes, but then grew into an all year show. This is what I was talking about that puts the power into it. A big speaker, lights, an iPad and mic made for an unforgettable ride, but she has not been driving every weekend for the past four years. I did take off uh, at the doctor's advice. No passengers for 14 months during the pandemic. It stopped the car karaoke, but not her singing. I would sing at home and get my family upset because I sang too loud. When she returned behind the wheel, other dangers were just around the corner. Decided to uh, run a red light and I was in the way of him. And so he told my car, I wasn't injured. My passengers weren't injured, but uh, so I was out for about a month with that. Her car was total. She credits her defensive driving from preventing greater harm. She suspects the driver was drunk, but they'll never know for sure. Unfortunately, the dash cam couldn't catch the license plate because he ended up going on the other side of the road and then crossing over back on the median. Gone in a cloud of dust. She was shaken, but undeterred. In the four years I've done this, I only had one person that I had to put out of the car. She says an overwhelming majority of what she sees and hears is encouraging. Well, I'll tell you, the um, the viewpoint of people I picked up from the airport and people are visiting, they say they love New Mexico, the people here in Albuquerque are friendly. Perhaps it has something to do with putting a little music into the world. That's my goal is every day to make somebody smile. So one way or another, I do it. Making the heart of New Mexico sing. Ryan Laughlin, KOB4.